Okay guys, and we're back for last episode. Here we are, we're back for part three. Really looking forward to this. This is what it looks like right now. All right, everything's dry. It's been more than 24 hours. Hairline turned out really, really nice. I'm pretty happy with that. That glue is solid and strong, even though there's a teeny tiny bit holding it on. It looks great. There's no point in messing around. We'll just get right down to it. We're going to make a mess. Clear off some of these things. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start from the back because I, I want to get kind of underneath, you know, if I need to get up underneath each row. I am going to just kind of tug by hand to see just how easy it comes out because I don't want to start yanking on it with a brush. It comes out fairly easy. It's it's a lot like the crepe hair. You're going to get a ton of hair coming out of these. See, already just by, I really wasn't even pulling that hard. I was just, just a little bit. So that's, that's it right now. Get this little pink brush, lightly, as lightly as I can. Just go through this, pull, pull it out as I, as I need to, because it's going to clog up the brush. Whew. So this is new to me because I don't know just how thin this will get after it's all said and done. I do know that the hairline is definitely going, definitely going higher. See, it was here, now it's getting up to here, the ends of the hair. Worst case scenario, if we have areas that are too thin, we can always add more in behind it. Yeah, that's, that's coming out of there pretty good. See? We've already got a pretty good wad of hair. Let's put it over here. Maybe you can see it a little, a little bit better. Maybe even go underneath a little bit. Yeah, see, you got to take that out of there. Otherwise, it won't grab any more, it won't grab any more hair. So it looks, it looks really thick when it's on, because it is. When you first put it on, it's pretty thick. Uh, but it does thin out quite a lot as you're brushing it. Actually not unhappy with that. Now the glue is pretty strong. The glue is not going to let this hair pull out. At least not where the glue is attached. We just keep going. Keep going. And you can see how stringy it looks. It looks pretty stringy. Now that being said, it's not, it's not too high. I may even trim some of that off, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it looks. Because there's a way to cut it, not just straight across, but there's a way to cut it so that it doesn't look like it's cut a straight line. And I'll show you that also if I need. So you can see our big pile of hair right here. I don't have any use for this stuff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can tell you right now this is going to be just by seeing how that what that does texture wise just by running your hands through it like this. That's that's awesome. That's really awesome. Honestly, I I have trouble getting crepe hair to do that. The crepe braids. I really do. Uh, this stuff really seems to hold its texture. I'm just kind of going for it right now. Just kind of going for it. This is kind of the boring part, I guess, on the video. It's watching me do this. I'll probably speed up through some of this stuff. Okay, see this is why you want to get up underneath. you'll have thick areas that see there's a lot of that coming out still eventually it'll stop coming out it's just because the fibers are kind of like interwoven like this to make the long pieces that they are and you could you could prep the hair before you even lay it on the head to eliminate any loss like this however I think you know what? I, I'm liking that a lot. I really am. I, I tell you what, my 
I mean, I, I've struggled with doing the paint before because it, there's a lot to it. You know, there's a lot to know to do, especially if you're, you know, if you don't, if you don't really have any information about how to do a lot of it, which really most of us didn't when these things first came out. Now we've got more information, but when these first, when these things first came out, we didn't have a lot of info on how to paint them. And even if we did, you know, not everybody's done this kind of stuff for decades or, you know, years and years. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm just brushing it like crazy. All right, just brushing it. I'll show you some really cool, neat things up front. To work with the hairline itself. Ooh. I will say that thinned down a lot. I actually like the way that that thins down compared to the crepe hair that I've used. Okay, um, I really really like that texture. I really do. I can't I can't get crepe hair to do that. Not like that. Not without putting product in it. It's very stiff. This stuff is very soft and you can see it just, it creates all that texture in there. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it good on the brushing. I'm gonna get a little bit up under here. Okay. Let's see, let's see my pile here. Half the head came out of that thing. <laughs> it's quite amazing actually. So really we're at the point now where everything looks everything looks really good. I, I like the way it's it's even raised up in the back. Um, I would even say that see now this is why Trick or Treat Studios, this is why they glue hair down over the back of the neck. For that purpose. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of here for just a moment. So that I can get my hand in it. Move it around a little easier. Let's see. I really like how you can scrunch it up. See, that's that's a lot of the key to the texture in these is scrunching them up like this. I know that there's a lot of the collar affects a lot of the hair in the back by how it kind of pushes it up. I've noticed in pictures. But there's so many pictures out there that you just don't know, you know, I mean, you just pick, just pick one, <laughs> just pick one and go for it. Okay. So really all I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of giving it a bunch of texture, all right? Just giving it a bunch of texture. I'm going to lay off that brush and I'm going to, I like this. I like this thing. So I really, I really like this method of kind of scrunching the hair up. See, see what I'm doing here? Look at that. Just, I mean, you could just about, you could just about do that because I mean, the hair doesn't need to look brushed, honestly. It, that you could just about leave the hair like that. I'm actually really amazed. I. I've never been happy with the crepe hair. I mean, I, I mean, I've done worse, but I've never really been very, very happy with it. I know that these pieces definitely need to go. See, I can pull some of that out also still. And it's a mess, but anyway, I've, I've just not really been as happy as I could be with the crepe hair. I know, based on what I've seen in the picture, just that there's some kind of a thing back here where it almost looks like it's been teased up by hand or something, I don't know, but really the mask is carried around, so that could be part of it. That could be part of it, carrying it around like that. Somebody's hand, um, I've seen the mask hair where it looks very brushed. Now, here's here's something I wanna, I wanna show everybody. I really, I really enjoy that texture a lot. I really do. I, I normally I would in the crepe hair. Normally I would spray it, 
with hairspray really really a lot and then I would go in there and I would scrunch it all up and then maybe kind of pull at it and um, because crepe hair won't do this uh, crepe hair is too it's very dense um, I'd probably have to put down I mean looking at this seeing how the this went on I would probably have to put that crepe hair on half as thick as I normally do if, thinking about it now because you know you've lost about half your hair volume really lost about half your hair volume maybe maybe not quite half but I guess it just depends on how you look at it that's a lot of hair okay but it but it looks really it looks really good okay so but there is there is something I want to show you for the hairline okay now that extra thick bit of glue that I've got in there that I was complaining about the last time I glued the hair on or when I glued the hair on um, it, it kind of stands up a little high right so compared to the sides they're just barely there okay the hair just lays perfectly okay you can't even see it you could fuss with it like that and it's the hairline is just gone here you can see it a little bit still but what I do is I take something like this and I'll hold it right and I will just kind of I will just kind of scrape at it, okay? Let's see if I can get you to see this at all. Now this, I don't want to grab from too close because then I'll have these little tiny hair fibers. I want to grab from up here a little bit and then kind of, kind of work it down, okay? Now, I am gonna say that you can even go like this. Uh, this is something that Nick Mulvigano does on his mask, he'll, his H2 masks, he will take the hair and he will go like this with it and he'll mat it. Because that's what happens, you, you take this hair and it'll, it's called felting. This thing will turn into a solid mass, kind of like the, uh, they make these, these felt balls that you put in your dryer and it's supposed to help with, uh, um, I don't know if it's static cling or what it is exactly. Anyway, I want to continue showing you this because I this is my favorite. This is my favorite thing. It, it's a little, I mean, it's a little scratchy. Uh, you can see that it kind of gives it. I don't want it to have that rolled over look. I don't want it to look like that, which is kind of what it looks like right now, sort of. Right? I don't necessarily want it to look like that. So what I'll start doing is I'll just start kind of. Just kind of fiddle with it. You just have to experiment, right? This is this is what I did. I just experimented until I found something that worked right. The way to tease hair is to go like this. See, I don't know if you can see that or not, but which is what I'll do to give it volume up front if I need. Okay. Now this stuff is. You know, if you manhandle it too much, I think this stuff would probably start felting on you. All right, it probably would turn into a big, a big mass. And I actually find that this method right here, you know, it's not bad. It seems to work a little bit better on the other. I, I personally, I like, I just like scrunching it like this because look at all that, look at all that texture it just puts in there just by, just by going like this. Right, I don't want it to look. I don't want it to look combed necessarily. So you know, I can take. I can t see. Look at there. I can take and do stuff like that. And it just, however you just what it, just work with it. The, the idea is to just play with it. Okay. So you see, I've got some texture going on there, and this is all I've done. This is all I've done. So this is gonna start coming out. I've just kind of fiddled with it a little bit until I do want to kind of brush that down a little bit and then you know it's okay to bring some of that down into the into the mask a little bit and then it's just it's just a matter of what do you want what kind of look are you going for. See, I've got kind of a thing going on there that I like that a lot. I really do. I love the look of that hair. 
I I can't imagine how I'll ever use after doing this, seeing the way that this styles. I, I like the crepe hair. It's good stuff. I mean, I, I think it could probably handle more abuse than this stuff can, although I'm being kind of rough with it right now. I thought I was going to have to be really delicate, but uh, I'm pretty sure the crepe hair can handle a little more a little more abuse. Now, if you look at some of the pictures, you can see how the hair just kind of, I don't know if it's them going like that, brushing on it, or just somebody grabbed it, or I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell by looking at it, but I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and fiddle some of this down a little bit. Okay, so if you just take that, I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you just take right around that hairline, you know, just try not to grab it like right there and have these little fuzzies all over the place. You know, you kind of want to pull it from inside. I don't, it's kind of hard to explain. You just have to, you just have to mess with it. But you can at least seeing what I'm doing right now might help a little bit solve some of the mystery. Uh, I've done about 14 or 15 masks, I think, at this point. Something to that effect. And it's, it's taken a little bit of trial and error. And even this right here, I've, I've worked on this, my most recent mask. Never used this kind of hair before. And that is the best hair I've done, period. I just, I don't care. It's the best. <laughs> that's my, that's exactly my opinion about it. That is the best hair I've done. I love the way that looks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smooth this down a little bit closer to the head. I like the tines on this thing because it can give you that separation you're looking for. Right, without making it look like it's just one solid sheet. Okay, now I'm going to take this and still fiddle with it. There. You know, honestly, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm liking that a lot. I really am. I'm liking that a lot. I think it's it's simple. Um, I think even in the back, let's see here. In the back, I find it being kind of scrunched upward a little bit it helps that to look more like it should looks more kind of scrunched up from the, maybe the collar. I was worried about these sides being too long. See, there's some bare spots underneath right in here, but this hair covers up nicely. It really does. It covers up really, really nicely. Okay, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously, somebody can just style this. You know, when they get it home, they get it in the mail, pull it out of the box, they can just, they can mess with it however, however they see fit. Um, I may not even put any hair product on this. I may just leave it. I may just leave it. See, at this point, I'm just kind of, just kind of messing. And it's still going to shed. It's still going to shed. It's just going to happen. Not a whole lot we can do about all that. I Personally, I think that's, that's just really, really nice. I think this hair is very, very versatile. I think it could do a lot with this. I think I want to try to pull that down. And the cool thing about this hair is that even though I don't even have any hair product, I couldn't I couldn't really get the look at that. I couldn't get really get the crepe hair to do all this because the crepe hair where it's glued down onto the head, it won't just fold. It won't just fold over easy. It's it's a little stiffer. This stuff will just fold right over cuz it's it's half the thickness easily of the braided crepe hair. So this stuff will just lay right down. I know that there's a little bit of a part that comes down in the front. I mean, look at that. You could fiddle with some of that. I think I'm going to call that guy done. I just I don't even know what else to do to it. I'm not even going to put any hair product in it. 
I really don't think that's necessary. I really think that I can take pictures of it like this. I can send that to a customer and I can have it in a bag and of course it's going to get matted down, right? But not compacted down. It's going to get it's going to get smashed down. But all you got to do is just just do this. Really, that's the easiest thing to do is just just do that. Look at all that texture in there from me doing that. I mean, that's how I would do it with the crepe hair too. Those braids, I would do it. I do the same thing. But this this just holds really really well. And I guess because it's not it's not so dense. It just it just sits perfectly, I think. See? I mean, there's a point where you could probably overdo it, but I just <laughs> I like that a lot. I really do. I'm I'm really happy with this. I really 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 am. I can't stress that enough. I can see that this right here is this front hairline and I'd kind of like to maybe drag that over across this one just a little bit more incorporate it together so there's just so much you can do with this yeah I, th I think that styling the hair and leaving it in a bag and letting it set up I think that I think that kind of robs the customers of being able to style it themselves. Um, if I can do this, if I can fiddle with this and, and pick at it and comb at it, a customer can do that too. And I think that's that's part of the fun of having these at all is just, I like this process right here. And I like this a lot more now after, after seeing how this stuff reacts to your hands being in it and putting all that texture in. I just, I just like it a lot. Even if I was not selling this stuff at Maskworks, I, I honestly would still use exclusively this. I really would. I think I got some stuff in my fingers. There we go. There we are. I mean, I could fiddle with it all day long. There. There you go. That's a 2018 Michael Myers mask. I think that looks fantastic. I'm going to tell you this, I used one ounce of hair, okay, one ounce of roving, and that's it. The whole thing, I used that whole entire one ounce, and, you know, we obviously we knew hair was going to come out of it, but it still looks really, really full, and it doesn't look overly full like I've, like I've experienced before. I think I need to, I need to you know, take a lesson from this and apply it to the crepe hair, because I'm sure I'll use the crepe hair again on something. Uh, I may even use it on, I don't know, maybe a, a Halloween Kills mask, or, I don't know, it's hard to say. I think we can be pretty happy with that. It looks great. It really does, it looks great. I like that front, that front profile where it just comes up and over, instead of swoopy and over <laughs> I think this video is gonna be a little shorter I was gonna use some hairspray honestly I, all I use is just anything that is stronghold I got it at Sally Beauty Supply it's good strong stuff you can use whatever you want let's see I've used I've used this before styling gel I this is just stuff I had around the house right and I've used that with pretty good success with the crepe hair I don't see anything wrong with that at all that's great looking Michael Myers hair. I think that it could be dirtied up. Uh, if somebody wanted to take some paint and airbrush it in or, or however you wanted to do it, you know, and, and maybe add a little more element of dark to it, it probably looks a little more reddish on camera. Um, it does on my monitor, but it's actually, it's actually just brown. It's just straight brown. What do you guys think about this, huh? Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what anybody's got to say. Um, I'd like to get some tips and other things from other people if they've got any. Anything that they've seen me do or not do that would be helpful. I think that we're all here to learn. And that's why I did these videos. Because when I started all of this, there were not a lot of people sharing a lot of things. And there were a lot of new people, you know, because you get new crops of people coming in. And... 
you know, some people don't know anything. I didn't know anything. I learned, and but I had to do a lot of experimentation. I had some really cool people that gave me a lot of really good information. Some of it was great. Some of it I didn't. I wasn't able to figure it out, even though they gave it to me. I couldn't figure it out still. But um, I've done a lot of experimentation on my own, uh, especially like with the hair. You know, I, this is an experiment. I've never used this hair before. Um, I'm sure somebody else has, and they already know, but. I've never done it, so this is how I've learned, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna teach other people. So, anybody that can teach me anything would be great as well. I don't mind passing that on. And you know, the the more we we all know, the better community is gonna be as a whole. I think you're gonna see better work out there. I think that people that have struggled with hair may watch this video and they don't have to struggle with hair, you know, anymore. Or maybe somebody that's never done hair can do hair based on this and they don't have to struggle. I think that's amazing. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. Tell me what you think in the comments. If you've got any ideas or, or suggestions or any kind of theories or whatever, let me know. Most of all, just tell me what you think about it. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and putting up with my crazy ramblings, but uh, I'm glad that uh, I was able to do this. I'm more surprised that it turned out even better than I thought it might. I had some ideas that I could do all this, but I had no idea it would be that easy. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, and you guys tell me what you think, and we'll see you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye, guys.